It's very hot in here. Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday. I'm sure it's Tuesday. Try me some tasty. Sometimes it works. I know what you're thinking. How do I incorporate beer into my diet on a regular basis? It's very tough, I know. Don't worry, I have you covered. You put it in your breakfast. Whoa! I'm slightly obsessed with putting alcohol into food and I found these beer waffles recipe in this edgy veg cookbook that I got last year. Of course, beer waffles caught my eye. I think it's supposed to be made as a breakfast food, but you know, you could eat beer waffles any time of day according to your, your diet. Mine includes a lot of beer. So these are chive and sriracha beer waffles. It looks interesting as fuck. I'm so down. It uses aquafaba. And I'm so pumped on this. I'm like, I can't wait. What a way to welcome back Tasty Tuesday. I missed you. Did you miss me? It doesn't matter. Let's make this dish. Step one, in a small bowl, we are gonna put these ingredients. Pay attention. Are you paying attention? Good. Follow me on Instagram. Thanks. Half a cup of sour cream. You can buy store-bought sour cream, uh, non-dairy sour cream, or uh, she gives a recipe for some really quick non-dairy sour cream that I think is so delicious. Like you should try it regardless of whether or not you have a favorite sour cream. If you've never cooked with cashew cream before, oh my God, it's like one of my favorite things. This sour cream is made using one and a half cups of cashews that are raw, that are soaked overnight and then rinsed. This makes them really soft. You put them in the blender, then a half a cup of water, one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, three tablespoons of lemon juice, fresh squeezed lemon juice, which is about one lemon, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and you blend it on high until it resembles the consistency of sour cream and oh my god, so delicious. I'm using that one. I just made it just now. Don't tell anyone. Half a cup in our bowl. Here, let me just help you out here, cup. Let me just put this in our mouth. Okay. One tablespoon sriracha sauce. Sriracha cha 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 cha. I don't know. Sriracha sister. Sister Sriracha. Oh my god, I'm trying to be James for Charles. I just saw him on Shane Dawson's video and they were like, Sister Sriracha, can I be them? Why can't this open? I guess I can't be them. Sister Sriracha, come on. I swear to God, if you ruin my manicure, I will end you. One tablespoon. Two tablespoons of pure maple syrup. Do it. And half teaspoon salt. Do we have enough for you? Oh yeah. Salt good. <laughs> Sorry. And we're just gonna whisk that together because they're friends and these flavors are gonna taste bomb, diggity bomb on our beer waffles. I can already feel it in my body. Let me just, hold on, don't look, hold on. Did you look? Don't why? Don't look. Yes, I'm a, a thousand percent in. I didn't lick it and put it back. Go away. Next, we're gonna put this sauce that we just made into a squeeze bottle or a mason jar or a container. I don't have a squeeze bottle, but I do have this salad dressing container. Does that work? We're gonna do it. I feel really good about this. I feel like I might have put too much salt in that. Don't do it. Don't make that mistake. Don't make any mistakes, okay? Oh, and we're gonna put this in the fridge. Next, in a large bowl. I'm so sorry about that. In a large bowl. We are going to put the following ingredients. Did you guess? Three cups unbleached all-purpose flour. I always have to make sure there's no bugs in my flour after many times finding bugs in my flour. No bugs in my flour, that's great. What a success so far. We're having a good time. Flour and black shirts don't like each other. Or they like each other too much, we'll never know. Two tablespoons fresh cut thyme and two tablespoons fresh cut chives. I have to apologize. Previous videos, I thought that green onions and chives were the same thing. They're not. They are separate entities, so you're welcome. They're separate onion teas. <laughs> One teaspoon salt. Oh, I missed one. I meant to say, I'm glad I got it right this time. With the green onions. Okay, it's, it's too late. You're welcome for the cringe show. Here we go. Two tablespoons of baking powder. Two teaspoons baking soda. I know what you're thinking. How do I get more soda in my diet? Beer waffles. I got you, girl. Two teaspoons organic sugar. Yeah, spend that extra dollar. Sister sugar. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. And we're just gonna whisk that all up. In the large bowl, we talked about this. You followed, right? Next, we're gonna grab our stand mixer, which I am so excited about because uh, we haven't used it in the new place yet. It's the first time. I'm so, oh my God, just hold on. I'm really far away from you. I'm so sorry. Oh my God, this is so heavy. Oh, I'm so proud. Can you see this here? No, nope, not at all. Maybe we move this. It's been so long, I forget how to operate you. I'm so sorry. Did you miss me? 
I missed you, it doesn't matter. In our sand mixer, I'm gonna guess the whisk attachment. We're gonna take two thirds cup of aquafaba, which if you don't know what aquafaba is, oh my God, you have a whole world that you're missing out on. We made a lot of videos about it like a year ago or so. You can make so much stuff with this stuff. It's the bean water from garbanzo beans or chickpeas. This sounds so weird to someone who doesn't know. It, it's really, it's real. Just trust me, Let's. we're gonna make it, watch. Hopefully this works, oh my God. See that stuff on the top, that right there? That's the shit we're gonna use to make some shit. It's gonna taste not like shit. Two thirds cup. Hopefully it's just one can. Please, please be one can, please be one can. Come on, baby, come on, come on. Ooh, I think we're gonna make it. Oh yeah. I hope you have this volume all the way up and your parents are home. Oh yeah, baby. This doesn't smell good, just so you know. That's what she said. One can's worth of aquafaba. I think they gave it a fancy name just so people aren't like, one can of bean water. No, we're not weirdos. Aquafaba, we're fancy. Two thirds cup in our stand mixer. And we're just gonna beat this on high for 10 to 15 minutes until it forms stiff peaks. Yes. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening. So aquafaba basically takes the place of egg whites in any cooking dish that you ever wanna do. FYI. Also, we have videos. If you wanna watch them, I'll put links and you can go check them out. Super cool, super weird. Oh my God, you, <laughs> this thing. Did you see that? That was almost a disaster. Okay, it has not been 10 to 15 minutes, but it's pretty stiff peaks over here and I don't wanna overbeat this. So hopefully it didn't need to be beat longer. I don't wanna ruin it. I just wanna do a good job. I want you to be very impressed by this. This is the first time you've ever seen aquafaba. Hopefully this is like a really crazy experience for you. Is this stiff peaks? That's a pretty stiff peak. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> It never ends. Next, we are gonna heat our waffle iron. I know, we're using so many appliances today. This is so exciting. I've never gotten this waffle iron to successfully work for me. Here are the remnants of failed attempts. Never had it work for me. Hopefully it works today, we'll see what happens. Sometimes it, it works on Tasty Tuesday. Here, in there. And then when the green light comes on, it means it's ready. Can you see this? Do you see what's going on over here? Back to our flour mixture over here. While that's heating up, we are gonna add some more ingredients to this flour mixture. Can you see? And you can see both of us. You get the waffle iron heating up and you got the Nikki Limo heating up. <laughs> it's very hot in here. We're gonna take three cups of a dark or amber beer. I got a dark beer. Can you handle this? It says to slowly add this to our flour mixture, whisking until smooth. Hopefully this is slow enough for you. I guess three cups is two beers. Is that right? Two beers. I was doing so much math in my head just now. Unnecessary. And we're gonna slowly add a half a cup of melted butter. That's like like one stick of butter in case you don't want to do math and measuring. Ugh. Oh my gosh, that does taste delicious. Wow. Then we're gonna fold in our aquafaba. So much excitement, but don't get too excited because it sets you up for disappointment in life. Just a tip. How do I fold this in? With the whisk? Or can I fold with a whisk? Are you can you fold things in with a whisk? Someone answer this in my in the comment section. Oh baby, this looks <laughs> this looks so interesting. I am so excited to taste it. The beer and the aquafaba are real to each other in a way that I have never seen. This is so interesting. Is this correct? I don't know, but it is very interesting. Excuse you. It says to let this stand while we wait for our waffle iron to heat up. Un momento. This is so weird looking and I really hope that it's right. This is what it looks like right now currently. Um, there's lots of bubbles. I'll try to show you a close up of it. We're gonna take a quarter cup and scoop it into our waffle iron, making sure that it covers the entire surface area. Also, I greased this bitch. I'm so sorry you're not a bitch. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to call it a bitch. Wait, just a quarter cup? Huh? All right, I think that's good. Then you cook it to the waffle maker's instructions. I totally throw those away. I threw them away a long time ago. This has never worked for me. I hope it's right. I'm gonna be done with it when, uh, um, I'm gonna tell you what happens in like five minutes. Give me a sec. You guys, we got one waffle down. Gosh, it happened. Kind of, it worked. Kind of. Yeah, it worked. A couple things I learned. Beer with me. One, I think every waffle maker is different. The recipe says one fourth a cup, but I think mine takes a half a cup to get all those waffle holes filled. So just like, you know, play it by ear there. It's not gonna happen by magic. Also, miss the part in the recipe where it says seven to 10 minutes per waffle. On the first waffle, I kept checking it every two minutes. Not a good plan, not a good idea. Just totally scrapped that waffle. I ate it, don't get me wrong, I am a trash monster. And it was so good, by the way, it was, no spoilers, it might have been tasty, but it was very filled with holes in places. It wasn't a pretty waffle, so we're gonna make some pretty waffles. Since you have to wait seven to 10 minutes per waffle, we're gonna put these waffles 
on the baking sheet and into the oven, preheated oven, keep them nice and warm. Maybe by the end of these waffle makings, we can have this kitchen clean. <laughs> That's so funny. I don't clean Steve. Okay, I'm still finishing the rest of this batter. But before I do that, I do want to get a taste test because we've done three waffles so far and they look bomb. And I want to know what Steve thinks about it before he goes to bed. Let's do this. Look at it. It worked. This is my first successful waffle experience with this iron. Are you proud of me? I barely held it together. Let's taste these. So now to dress these waffles, we're gonna get our maple sriracha sauce that we put in the fridge earlier, right? And we're gonna drizzle it because that's what fancy people do with beer waffles. Oh yeah, we put beer in this waffle. Happy hour, beerches. Beerches. <laughs> It's almost over. Then if you want to, which I know Steve will want, you can put more sriracha sauce on there. I will probably put more maple syrup on there. And then you can top with some green onions, not chives. They're not the same. They're not the same. Did you know? They're not. But you know, green onions, we got them both in this recipe. And wow, look at that. I'm really excited to try this. It smells delicious. I tried a waffle already and it was delicious, but I didn't try it with the sauce. So we'll see if it is delicious. Let's go. <laughs> Oh yes, oh yes. This looks so yellow because of the overhead lights, but it's, it's not that yellow, it's not yellow. It's beautiful. Okay, hello. Oh my God, it smells so good in here. Yay! Okay, before you start, yeah. you know how you're always saying, how do I get more beer into my diet? Always. Right? Well, I figured out a way for you. Put it in the breakfast carbs. So you use science? Yes, that's... breakfast carbs. Wow. Gonna get you that dad bod in no time. Hey, that's what so, I need. These are beer waffles with sriracha maple sauce, and there's chives in there. This this smells bam. This is a waffle? Yeah. Damn. Whoa. Yeah? That's so different. Right? Yeah. It's really good. Yay! Is it tasty? Yeah, why? Why is this tasty? It's so tasty. But it's dumb. Because it should be beer. This is stupid. <laughs> it's tasty! It be. Why shouldn't it be? It's a beer waffle with sriracha stuff. It doesn't come across as something that should be tasty. It's some it's two of your favorite things. Wow, I'm, like I'm like genuinely surprised. Yay! Why are you only having one more bite? I'm trying to be a little car guy, okay? Yeah. <laughs> That was the joke at the beginning. If you missed it, Steve has been on a low carb diet and I am destroying him. Yeah, you always do. This fucking destroying show always him. does. You're like, we're doing dessert month and I'm like, oh my God, dude. <laughs> Why are you freaking joking me? I feel like the sriracha is way too spicy for me because I'm very weak. It looks spice. like a Taco Bell Mexican pizza. It does look like that. Oh my gosh. Those flavors together. It's really good. Yeah, why? Because so... you get the flavor of the beer and then the spicy sweet of the sriracha maple sauce. Yeah. It's like having a full meal with your beer in one bite. So true. It's so good. If you like these flavors, you should definitely make this. It takes a little bit of patience, but it's worth it, I think. And you can make a bunch of them and you can save them. Too bad you can't finish eating it. Tell me about it. What so the hell, good. man? So good. Well, this is really good. Thank you to Candace from um, Edgy Veg. This is her recipe from her cookbook. I don't have a link to it because it's from cookbook, like old school. Oh. Um. But um, go over, check her out. She's great. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this, and I will see you next time. Nothing. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just. I'm checking for focus. I'm checking for focus. I'm just checking for focus.